there proper protection for people walking by Midtown Golf Course? A man who helped a woman hit by a golf ball says no. Now he wants the city to add a taller fence next to the Randolph North Course. The path along Randolph Way is popular for pedestrians, runners, and cyclists. Now your science Justin Shecker joins us live tonight from Reed Park. Justin. Guy and Sel, this concerned man brought this to the attention of the Tucson City Council at last night's meeting. Today, he showed us this section where the higher netting, that taller netting there ends, where he says a golf ball cleared this shorter fence and hit an older woman. There was no other choice but to call 911. While walking this path along Randolph Way about two weeks ago in the morning, Brian Glenn says he spotted an elderly woman bleeding from her hand because it was just struck by a stray golf ball. I guess it was a good thing that she had her hand up or else she would have probably got hit on the side of the on the side of her face. After helping the wounded woman, I was really more unhappy because you know the, the golfers didn't seem to care. Glenn wants the city of Tucson to do something to prevent more serious injuries at this public park. Just easily, you know, a ball can pook. And you think this fence is too short, is that your main concern here? Yes, it is too short, because I'm actually, by standing up here, I'm actually taller than the fence, you know, and a matter of fact, even she was basically taller than the fence too. Other pedestrians and skateboarders share similar safety concerns because the taller netting only protects portions of the path. How often do you see golf balls go flying over the fence? Very often. Imagine if we're flying on this board, you get hit, you're going like at least 15 miles an hour. I'm six foot. That's like a six foot drop from my head. That's not good. I don't want to end up in hospital, you know, and become disabled. We spend money on silly things and stuff, but let's spend money on something that's important as this. Everybody's safety. A lot of people use this park. Tucson's Parks and Rec Department says no decision has been made whether to add more of the taller netting and fencing. The city officials say it's a matter of finding the funding. Now, if you've had any close calls of golf balls flying over this fence and onto the path, we'd like to hear from you on the Kega 9 Facebook page. We're live in Reed Park tonight. I'm Justin Shecker, Kega 9 on your side.